Welcome to Autoflow. I'm Craig O'Neill, and in this video, we're going to show you the simple way to begin your digital inspection process. Three key steps. Inspect, send, and sell. In this first video, we're going to cover the inspection portion of the process from the login point with our technician. From your tablet, all you need to do is sign in, and we're going to get started. Now, whether you're a technician or an advisor that's responsible for inspections, you've probably been handed a tablet and you've been told to sign in to Autoflow. We made this very simple. From your administrator's PC, you can go ahead and click that QR code, and this is going to bring you directly to your login page. So go ahead and do that on your own device, and then once you're ready to log in, you'll have your username and password that have been given to you. Click sign in, and you're ready to get started. Once you're on your main screen, you may see that you default into a user tab, and this is going to be on that upper part of your screen. If you are responsible for all tickets in the shop and have access to the All tab, you can go here as well. Depending on how you dispatch or assign work in your shop, it may be beneficial to go to this screen. You're going to see very quickly that we have a workflow. Between what the advisor sees on the linear workflow and what a technician might see or a service advisor on a smaller screen, you simply need to understand what the key handoffs are. If the vehicle's in check-in, it's time for us to do our inspection. If it's in another status and that DVI button is orange, in this example here, orange means it's already had a completed DVI. So you can look right away on the screen and identify there are two vehicles on this board that need inspections. Simply click on the DVI button and then you're going to go into the inspection form and you can get started. With the inspection open, let's take a look at some of the things that are designed to make this an efficient part of your inspection process. First and foremost is collecting the vehicle information. We made this very simple with the barcode button in the vehicle details section. Simply click this button and then snap a picture of the vehicle's barcode on that VIN sticker, usually inside the door of the vehicle, and it will transcribe all 17 characters for you so quickly. Now you can move on to the main part of the inspection sheet, but first, pay attention to the reason the vehicle's here. If these are in here for you, take a look at the notes and go ahead and acknowledge those. This is a requirement inside of Autoflow. We don't want you to perform the inspection oblivious to the main reason the client brought their vehicle in. With these acknowledged, we continue to move on. Now, one thing that may be expanded already on your screen is the multi-axle tire inspection. A key part of any inspection is, of course, the tires, and we made this very simple. There's a few notes for you for PSI, DOT information, and we even made tread depth a super simple point-and-click item. And this will fill in the notes for you as you move through this. So this is a great way to make sure you're measuring things accurately, and you don't have to spend a lot of time typing all the details simply point and click. It's usually the same note that we need to make most of the time, and if there is other notes, these can be added by your administrator. Defects or damage found in a tire, no problem. Simply mark that there, and then you can even provide additional details with a custom addition of a note. Have a dually vehicle, go ahead and add an outer or inner tire here, and you can delete those as well. This is a very straightforward way to make sure that whatever type of vehicle you have, and if there's additional axles in your commercial shop, that may be the case. So add another axle, add a couple tires to that. It's very flexible to make sure you're getting all the key details in there. Now we move into the main portion of the inspection sheet. I'm just going to focus on a few key things here, adding images, adding notes, and then signing off on your inspection sheet. So if we expand this out, you'll see we can do so here. These options are great. I'm going to focus first on this initial line item for the four corner walk around. Notice it's required and a picture is required as well. It's a great way to document the vehicle condition. So I try to get a picture of all four corners of the vehicle, and I like to take these pictures in my camera app on my device and then upload them all at once. I don't go one at a time very frequently when I'm moving quickly through an inspection process. You'll notice that all four images load pretty much as fast as one image loads, and you're good to go. Simply add a note, and you're set. Now, one of the things that is key in our inspections, please remember this, is that you must mark something green, yellow, or red in order for the client to see any images that you take. We want these to mean good, due on time or mileage, or red is something that needs attention. So on something like the four corner walk around, I usually will mark that green. And of course, if you wanted to, you can add image markups. To, these are all time stamped. It's a great way to make sure the vehicle condition is documented and you don't get blamed for things that you didn't do. Now, lastly, the main point of digital inspections is, of course, providing images for people on issues or things that you find. So let's use an example here. I have a transmission fluid item. Let's just go ahead and add my dipstick image there. 
And this is something that we can do next. We can add notes through this itemized dropdown. Notice I have that dropdown here and I can point and click to make my point here. Drain and refill is my recommendation. I hit save and it marks it red for me. Remember a key indicator that we need to have if the customer is going to see the image that we take for them. When confronted with the information they need, clients make informed buying decisions, but that isn't where your concern is right now. Your job is just to do a good and thorough inspection on this vehicle. And then when it is all set, you hit complete and this goes straight to the desk for your service advisor who is gonna handle the next step. Good job. Keep practicing.